now tuned into Rubber Pocket Now Have No Bottom, a Tobago Festivals Commission production on the Tobago Festivals Network. T Cupid takes five. We are in the station and 012280 Officer Westwind leads the investigation. Not even an inclination? Not in the slightest? For the hundredth time, I don't know where Malcolm is. Let's try this again. Please state your name and age for the recording. We don't have to keep doing that, you know. The recording's still on and nothing can change. You made me do that like five times already. Miss Cupid, I choose to do it again. It's the first time I'm using this new smartphone that the office bought. And I want to make sure it's taping. I told them already. I'd rather use cassette. But they outvoted me. Anyway, failure to comply insinuates... My name is Tamaya Cupid and I'm 21 years of age. Thank you. So, Miss Cupid, when did you steal Mr. Frank's boat engine? Wait, wait, wait. I didn't steal anything, you know. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm asking you again. You sure you didn't know where the engine was? My boy, Mal, <sighs> look, I had no idea, not in the slightest. You're showing hesitancy, Miss Cupid. Lying will be taken as an attempt to provoke the course of justice, eh? You understand? Good. Isn't it true that Malcolm is a known klepto... Uh, no, old thief in the community? Alleged. I watch plenty of police shows and you're supposed to use the word alleged, Officer Westwood. Allegedly, yeah? So your relationship with him makes you somewhat of an accomplice to this crime. Therefore, you should be charged as such. You look like the type of girl that go do anything to see that she man stay out of slammer, right? Around, you look like privilege on pack. The way your lipstick lie down on your lip and your earring hanging in me there. All the characteristics of an enabler. Are you enabling a petty thief, Miss Cupid? What? That makes no sense whatsoever. Look, officer, I heard little rumors about him in the past, but he never showed me any of these things while we was together. He was always talking about his big dreams and his beloved Grenada. We spoke about going one day, and he said he wanted to put things in place first. He did not steal the engine. Matter of fact, Frank lent him the boat many times. Huh. You ever see Frank's engine before? Well, duh. Malcolm carried me out on a date on that same boat. And where was the engine in question? Well, it was on the boat. It's obvious the engine was on the boat in order for me to go for a drive on it, officer. Ah, I see. Hmm. Okay, tell me the details of that day, Miss Cupid. Malcolm lifted me onto the boat and his strong grip. Whoa, 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 whoa! You don't have to be that descriptive. I just want to know what go on. Was I wrong? What all you do? You get that? Well, Malcolm was going at high speed. I remember feeling the breeze blowing in my face and seeing silhouettes of fishermen on the bay trying to bring in a catch. The breeze was unbearable and Malcolm wrapped his arms around me from behind. <laughs> What else is so, Miss Cupid? The closer we got to the shore, the clearer the silhouette was getting. This one lady with a tub on she head particularly stood out. I have some clothes to wash. Who gonna wash me clothes? Ay, 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 ay. Who gonna wash me clothes? Good Lord, it's who driving that loud boat early this morning, so the thing sound like he got broke down any minute now. Wait now, nah. is Ermin one piece of picnic there with Malcolm? Oh, what trouble is this, Lord? Oh gosh, they're coming out the boat. Where you taking me now, Mal? <laughs> gosh, come back here. Oh gosh, listen, just close your eyes and hold my hand. Open your eyes now. All this food and wine and thing for me? Anything for you, baby. Anything for you. You deserve the world. One day, 
we can have our own boat. I will call it MT. We initials now. Or am I just putting your name? So anytime I go back Grenada to check grams, you gonna be there too. Or I could just go with your mal. Duh. Well, yeah, that too. I gonna love to carry you, you know. Oh gosh, I'm not seeing them good here. You hearing that? Stay behind me, eh? Who they? I say who they? Oh, uh -huh, yes. But I'm waiting for you here, baby. You know how long? Eh? You're making me feel like you ain't coming again. Don't do me that now. Eh? Um, Auntie Lucy? Hold on, um... Uh, Carl. Eh, eh. Tamaya, is you there? Well, what are you doing out here so early, child? And you with company too? What are you doing here so early, Andy? Hold on, eh, Carl. But eh, eh, Tamaya, and I talk to you about questioning big people. And two besides, you know better than anybody that I does my washing early in the morning. I know, Auntie. But I never see you on the side of the bay before. So what it is? You is police now? Because you get man now, you think you have a right to ask a big woman like me my whereabouts. <laughs> you don't have to tell she should get man in her. I'm not talking to you, sir. <laughs> Look, I ain't looking for no trouble, eh? I could go back to my call now. I see you and you ain't see me. All right, aunt. Come, babes, let me go. Yes, Carl. Imagine I see I will arrange this thing for you. You see? What call she on? There wasn't on no call, Tanti. There was following me and Mako in the conversation. A snitch, you want a snitch, lady? Eh? Answer me. There's only one set of gossip and news you like to carry. Like people paying you to do that. Look, if you call up with name in your mouth, you're going to wear barley gray. Eh? So, you threatening all people now? Look. Just keep this between us. That's all he meant, Auntie. Malcolm, let we go now. We have our understanding. I hope so. You just come here and jump in your bags, together. That's nothing, babe. You still make me feel special. Where we was again? <laughs> This episode was brought to you by the Tobago Festivals Commission Limited and sponsored by the Tobago House of Assembly. You are now tuned into the Tobago Festivals Network. Previously, on Rubber Pocket, now have no bottom. Well, all you, the bacchanal so sweet. On the last episode, Tamaya was under heavy interrogation from Officer Westwin. Malcolm, he allegedly thieved somebody's boat engine and managed to evade the police. Tamaya and Miss Ermin stick down at the police station for Malcolm criminal ways, while Tamaya reminisces on happier days. E. Cupid, take one. Mother of Tamaya, investigated by 012280 Officer Westpin. If you would like some tea, let me know. You don't have any sugar though. <laughs> the first thing I learned in police school is to make the suspect comfortable. So I am a suspect. Nah, <laughs> but your daughter is one. So by association, you are in, in question. On with it. Bystanders who saw your daughter told one of our officers that Tamaya was in fact on the boat, making her a prime suspect. Officer, I live in this Charlotteville from I was a picnic, fresh out of my mother's womb. If it's one thing I know, if people in the village say they see, is one of two reasons. They want my Tamaya to get in trouble with the law, or they think it has some big reward in it for them. Either way, I not believe in nothing without evidence. 
Evidence? <laughs> Officer, let me ask you something. If you... Whoa, whoa. I will do the questioning, you stupid. Tell me, what is your knowledge of Malcolm Balmont? I know what everybody knows, officer. And uh, what is that? The Valmont boy is a known troublemaker who appears to have a history of sticky-handedness. And as it seems, Maya must have had a serious lapse in judgment to befriend him. You feel she is being forced into an alliance of sort with this community klepto? I am not saying that. But that morning when she came home, she didn't seem like herself. Matter of fact, I was prepared to take her to a special seer to have her checked out. Hmm. What do you mean by didn't seem like herself? All right, let me explain. So you mean to say that you walk in the house, see big people, and can say good morning? Morning, ma. Tamaya, is me alone you see sit down here? Don't fuss him. The girl must be tired. Too tired to say morning? Where are you now coming from this hour of the morning? Fishing. Fishing? Fishing where and with who? Ma. I honestly think that I'm old enough to move around the village without having to answer all them set of questions. I tell you already, if you intend to treat me like a child, I could keep acting like a child. You see this line where you pick up? It's going to land you in harm's way. What a line about? Tell me. Where you was? That is what I asked you. Ma, I was with him. Mammy, tell Tamaya. You're sleeping out, coming in late. You're lying. This Malcolm fella ain't no different from your father. Worthless and no good. You can't see that. You can't see that it ain't had no future with a man who don't even have the decency to come and get my approval, but he going around with my only child. You're so desperate for man that you can't tell the difference between man and manico. Oh, gosh, you mean. Leave the girl now, now. Are you gonna tell she that? You ain't left in no way. Eh? What are you doing here so early? You know how I find it strange that you was by the bay early this morning, Miss Lucinda. But I said, let me give you the benefit of the doubt. I sure it's mommy you was talking to. I never see an old miserable witch that like to lock herself in people's business like you. How much she pay to play crab in dirty water? I should have let Malcolm look. Tamaya! If me and your mother wasn't friends, and if she didn't ask me to be present for your baptism, I did forget yours, my godchild, and cut your tail. What the hell you feel you talking down to, sir? Why you and leave people place with your hungry self? You was not mommy friend. You was everybody friend. Don't feel I know that you're creeping close to mommy to get through that little walk in the school, you know. No. You feel you're smarter than everybody? Go grade oh. and see if your husband happy with your new family, eh? Ow, my Let me go. No, let me go. 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 Let me Stop it, go. Let me 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 Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. My name is Constable Westwin. I am in search of one Tamaya Cupid. Is she here? Um, mm, is something wrong, officer? Is Miss Cupid home? Yes, officer. She's inside. I am her mother. Is something wrong? Her name is allegedly connected to a stolen boat engine, and I need her to come down to the station for questioning. 
I didn't steal no boat engine, officer. There must be a mix-up, officer. Tamaya is a model young woman. If her name is calling in any illegality, I can assure you that it is malicious. Ma'am, I can't speak to all that. I just need Miss Cupid to come with me to the station. Officer? Mm, yes. Yes, ma'am. I think I know who teeth the engine. This episode was brought to you by the Tobago Festivals Commission Limited and sponsored by the Tobago House of Assembly. tuned into the Tobago Festivals Network. Previously, on Rubber Pocket, no have no bottom. In episode 2, we go back just before Tamaya was arrested. she just come back home from an early morning rendezvous with Malcolm Dongabe. Lucinda Di Mako, she don't bring back the news and Gishi Mama. Well, big brawl and Miss Ermin place. Between Lucinda and Tamaya. Same time, Officer Westin pull up and lock up the girl about she man teeth in ways. Officer, when I tell you this coffee tastes nice, yes? I like my coffee strong and black, just like I like my. Whoa, whoa! On with it, Miss Lucinda. Please tell me what you know. And if you intend to waste the police time, it will be taken as an objection of justice. Well, you tell me, sit down, shake it, ask me some questions. You forget? Yes. And I ask the question, tell me what you know. Well, tell me something, officer. You ever hear anything about me? Lucinda, answer the question. What have you heard about Frank's missing boat engine? Oh, well, you didn't say that all the time? So what happened was, uh, you could give me an next cup of coffee. Lucinda, I better charge you for objection or justice. You are <laughs> wasting police time and look, leave the station. Leave the station, please. Leave the station. <laughs> Lucinda, where you going? You done already? Yes, I'm going home. Officer Wilbarrow sent me home. Just so? You make the statement? My name, Claire? No. So you lied then? Miss Tamaya Cupid, please come in. And I hope you have something substantial to offer this time. Since you want to think today is clown the constable day. You can't get clown if it's not a clown. Good evening, everybody. <laughs> okay, Lucy, we go pick up. I go call you when I reach home. Hello? Don't hang up. It's me. Where are you? I'm in the police station now. Malcolm, what is this you get me into? Baby, you know me better than anybody. You know I ain't still no engine. It's just a little mix-up happened. Trust me, Frank and I sorting it out. You don't need to make no statement in a Tamaya. That gonna make things worse. So what is this happen with the engine? They come in my mother house looking for me, you know. You know how embarrassed I feel? I'm oh, sorry, babe. I'm oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. But trust me when I tell you it was a mistake. I ever do anything to harm you? No. I ever disappoint you? No. And I ain't gonna start now. Them damn police always judging you for your past mistakes. Trust me, everything will be sorted. You feel you could do me one more thing? What? The police don't believe I is our accomplice. It's something to help prove your innocence, and it's just a small thing. This is just a mistake. I let my partner call and give the police the location for the boat engine as an anonymous tip. All I need from you is to pretend as if you ain't know nothing. Malcolm, you have the engine in truth? I find it, Tams. <laughs> Malcolm, you want me to protect it, but you're lying to me. I'm not lying, babe. It was behind the community center in the old wrought iron rubble. Wrap up in black plastic. Malcolm, you 
putting me in a difficult place. I know, Tams. And, I, and I'm sorry. I never wanted you to get mixed up in things like this, you know. But it was a mistake, baby. I'm telling you. I would never put you through something like this. I love you. And I want to marry you and put we initials on that boat and sail to Grenada still. You want to go with me still? Of course, Mal. So you still love me? Hmm? You believe me? Yes, I love you. And I know you didn't do this. I'll come. Yeah, baby. Why are you calling from my home phone? Oh, Miss Cupid, we are ready for your statement now. Just now, officer. Let me just answer this call. Hello. Good evening. What? Where you see them? Okay. I'm in the station now. Hang up. I'll call you back if anything. What manner of evil fall upon me today, father? Ma, what happened? Officer, my neighbor just called, says she see two strange men walking around my yard with a big duffel bag. We have to go now, officer. Wait. Malcolm, why are you calling from my home phone? <gasps> Tamara! This episode was brought to you by the Tobago Festivals Commission Limited and sponsored by the Tobago House of Assembly. to the Tobago Festivals Network. Previously, on Rubber Pocket, no have no bottom. Ah, boy. If Dortish was a person, it would have been this girl. In the last episode, Tamaya was at the station for another bout of interrogation when Malcolm called from she house phone. Same time, Miss Ermin get a call that two men in she house she tell the police and they all was about to head over. But guess what Tamaya do? She pretend to faint. All to save the crooked Malcolm. I feel was overwhelmed you did overwhelm. That make you pass out in this station. If you see how you fall, I get frightened, you know. It's a good thing they had smelling salts at hand. Else all now so, you lie down in Scarborough General. Hmm. My head's still feeling kind of light. You want some spicy tea? Nah, my good. I just need to rest for a little while. All right, Maya. Get your rest. I'm going around the house and see if the trespassers interfere with my plans and them. You know what was disturbing? As soon as they pass out, the officer get a strange call with directions to the boat engine. True. <clears throat> True. Yes. Matter of fact, the directions were so clear. He told me that I could leave right away to take care of you. Hmm. This place is crazy, we. Well, at least my name not in no criminal book for stealing a boat engine. <laughs> I don't even have a boat. You're right. Anyway, I'm going and get the keys and head around the back to check for damage. Okay. What he could possibly want in here, boy? Gosh, Malcolm. I'm trying to get everybody to see it the way I see her, but you keep messing it up. Oh, gosh! Maya, the key's missing. Keys? Which keys? From the cabinet? Yes, from the cabinet. My keys. The ones for the school. Whoever was here must be take the keys. Good grief, I have to call Officer Westman. Ma, calm down now. You don't know that for sure. Besides, you just put on your keys and forget. Remember the last time you did... No, Tamaya. I remember hanging them up and closing that cabinet. I ain't forget that at all. Ma, for your own sake, retrace your steps. It would be very embarrassing to see you make a big scene and the key right in your bag. Go on, Chetna, please. I know I leave them keys. Who pick them up? Who pick them up? I leave the keys right, right on the cabinet there. Who pick them up? Who on with those keys? 
Lucy, I can't talk loud. I'm hiding in the toilet. I need you to call Officer Westman and tell him to go to the school. Whoever was in the house this morning, thief the keys for the school, and I feel they're going down there. I tried to tell Tamaya, but I find she moving strange. After your call, Westman, call me back and tell me what he say. I hear this now. You can't be here, Malcolm. You're crazy. Mommy will call the police on you if she see you around the house. Oh, gosh. Not even a good evening, baby self. Good evening, baby. Please go. No. Mommy will be in the yard any minute. Malcolm, oh, God, please. You're not supposed to be here. Okay. So I want it around here. Uh, that's fine. I just wanted to tell you in person that I'll go away for a little while. Away? Away where? Grenada? You mean Grenada, Malcolm? Maya, I still not finding the keys. Somebody move them keys from the cabinet, girl, I'm telling you. Where are you going? I'll go away for a little while. How long? Well, Granny, you know where well I'm here, so I'm going to see about you for a little while. Malcolm, let's talk this through. Please, just don't leave like this. Maybe we could go together? Eh? We could go together? Uh, I doubt it. Not right now, baby. Things are hard. The police are looking for me now. So I can't stick around here. They go find me. And who is here? They know you use my cup tonight. They go come here eventually. You see how they come knocking in the door this morning? I don't want you to get tangled up in no more chupidness. I don't want you and your mother to get in no trouble, girl. Malcolm, oh gosh. So what you need me to do? What do you need? Ah, uh, girl, I need a little loan. A loan? Money? How much so? Hey, mommy coming around the house, Malcolm, how much? All right, here we are. Meet me on the bay late tonight, walk with the money, and I'll be there waiting for you, all right? When you're not telling me how much, tell me how much and I'll walk with the money. Oh, mm, a little 5,000. 5,000? What you need all that money for, Mal? It's for my granny, Tamaya. My granny. All right, all right. I'll get it for your granny, baby. Go fast, Malcolm. Go. Love you. Thanks. <sighs> Who are you talking to? This episode was brought to you by the Tobago Festivals Commission Limited and sponsored by the Tobago House of Assembly. You are now tuned into the Tobago Festivals Network. Previously, on Rubber Pocket, no have no bottom. Tamaya wakes up in her bed after faking her illness to let her sweetheart Malcolm escape. If you was following, by now you know this girl is naive. Imagine, after all the man put her through, she still believes he's innocent. Her mother realizes that the intruder stole her keys for the school, and Tamaya tries to convince her that it's she who lost the key knowing fully well that Malcolm was in the house earlier. We left her at the window, with Malcolm telling her to draw out all her savings to give him so that he could go back to Grenada. All you think she could do it? Come on, Malcolm. Come on. Look how long he's standing up here waiting for you. Oh, gosh, man. Where well, he could be so... We had to run with so, girl. It's Mama Malcolm who sent me. And, and you named her, Tamia? Malcolm sent you? He 
never tell me he was sending somebody? Girl, yes, he thought he might, might be safe to, sh to, sh to show up now. How oh, this scene kind of ki hot. So he sent away for collect, collect the thing. I not giving all in nothing. How come he ain't tell me to give, give all the money? Uh, look, all right, he, 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 he phoned dead and he had no way of re, 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 reaching you, right? How, how else do you think we would have known you there? Eh? He sent away. Look, just get out with it. Like, just, just, just get out with the thing that we're gonna. Fine. I would give you the money if you tell me where Malcolm is. That's the only way I'll get in it. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he only way say, 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 right? Last time we talked talk to him, he said, Yeah, come across from, from, from the jetty there. No worry yourself, no man, yeah, come draw, 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 just now, right? You, you, you is not the same ta, 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 me, I ta about. Hello, mommy. Look, girl, don't play your mommy in me. It's where you gone this hour, Tamaya. You just up and leave your mother home by herself with all this madness going on. Madness that you bring to widow's step. Ma, me ain't looking for no trouble with you. I had to take care of something before morning come. Like what so, eh? And don't lie. I know you left my house to go see that little bubble foot boy who you say you like. You can't see his only trouble he gonna bring. All the good sense are put in your head, like it run out when you meet this blasted boy. Tamaya, why you making this man make you a puppy show girl? Leaving your mother house all kinda ungodly hour to do what, eh? To tell you what? You leave your good place to go behind a man that police looking for. Ma, how much times you will say the same thing? Over and over, cause like stick broken in your ears. As I said before, I just run out to do something and coming back, right? Look, I have to go. Wait, wait. I just get a call concerning the missing keys. Apparently, someone used it to break into the school vault and all the money gone. You serious or you joking? You serious? And that's not the shocking part. The police say they found Lucinda's hat on the ground close to the vault. Since I get the news, I've been trying to call she and she phone switch off. What are you doing out here so early, child? And you with company too? Yeah, going home. Officer Wilbarrow sent me home. I think I know who thieved the engine. Five thousand dollars, right? Tamaya, you still there? Y yeah, ma. I'm coming home now, okay? Just be safe, Maya, please. I will. Lucinda had close to the vault. Keys missing. Five thousand dollars. Meet me on the bay. For granny? Use the same time he always talking about. He only wastes his strength. Who is that going on so this hour? I wonder if it is... Malcolm! Malcolm! Wait! Wait. Is that woman he hugging up? Malcolm! Malcolm, is me! Tamaya! I hear! Baby, I hear! Lucinda? Malcolm? Malcolm! He was a dirty dog boy! Malcolm, please! Don't do this now, please! <laughs> Maya, I will send a postcard for your ride, don't you? episode was brought to you by the Tobago Festivals Commission Limited and sponsored by the Tobago House of Assembly.